Hi, this is Oi with 4 kshooters.net and in this video I'll do a quick not so technical review of the Razer MC100 RGBWW LED soft panel. Since this is an RGBWW LED light, this means that uh, you actually get a lot more control over color thanks to the two extra white chips for every RGB chip, one of them being a warm white chip. The MC100 is quite compact and lightweight. It weighs about 3.5 kilograms or about 7 pounds, but despite this, the metal housing provides enough confidence for heavy use on set. The light also comes with 4-way barn doors included and features an easy to use interface with tactile controls, dedicated buttons and shortcuts. The build quality overall is very impressive, the tilt locking mechanism is also quite well built and the built-in hook helps you keep your cables organized. Running the MC100 from mains power is quite simple as the AC adapter slides onto the included V-mount plate on the back and just plugs into the control unit via XLR. Wired DMX via standard 3-pin XLR is also included and so is built-in Wi-Fi. Navigating through the menus is very straightforward and simple thanks to the dedicated arrows and the menu button uh, on the front of the control unit, while the two knobs on the side allow for finer parameter adjustments uh, such as brightness, hue saturation, scrolling through the hundreds of built-in gels or making adjustments to the built-in effects. The CCT mode is sort of the main mode which gives you access to a white Kelvin temperature adjustment from 2400 to 9900 with a 0 to 100% dimming as well as the now standard magenta green plus or minus. The light output at 1 meter is a little bit over 2200 lux which is plenty for interview setups or just about any situation where you need to light a human face for a music video, commercial or a documentary for example. The MC100 is rated at TLCI 96 and 98 which is, which is pretty high and the built-in diffuser uh, helps reduce an even soft light with a pleasant 120 degree beam spread. The MC100 uh, also has a decent amount of built-in effects uh, such as cop car, lighting, TV flicker, club party lights, fire, fireworks and more. And each can be adjusted to suit your preference or adapt to any shooting situation. I recently had a chance to use this light on a feature film and we used the club and party lights extensively for scenes where we had to film inside a nightclub and we also had to cheat a hotel lobby bathroom as though it was actually inside a club. Delving deeper into the color, hue and saturation control, the HSI mode makes it really easy to dial in just about any strength for any color you want, while the gel mode is packed with hundreds of color gels that will save you a ton of time on set. The advanced lighting engine inside the MC100 and the rest of the MC lineup uh, actually lets you color match to just about any other source imaginable, including tungsten, HMI and fluorescence, by dialing in the exact XY coordinates, which is a very impressive feature that is a must when using multiple light sources on set. The Razer MC100 was one of our main lights that we used on this indie feature uh, and uh, we used it in a wide range of situations uh, from you know, using it as a key light to a fill to various overhead setups over tables and dark hallways. Overall, I'm a huge fan of this light. Uh, the Razer MC100 is just a hell of a compact LED light with extensive RGB control, it has a very decent soft light output and has very impressive build quality. For the price of around 600 euros or about 700 US dollars, there really aren't many other lights uh, with this such quality on the market. The LCD screen on the back can sometimes be difficult to read from a distance and the control panel on the back is built in, but to me that's not a big deal. So in summary, uh, I'd like to say that if you are looking for a compact RGB WW LED and you're on a budget, you should definitely check out the Razer MC100. I really hope this uh, review was helpful and to read more, check out the link uh, to the full blog post in the description below. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.